Who's the front runner or quarterback? Uh, we don't have a front runner right now. We've got uh, four guys, you know, and I, most people tell you you can't have four guys at the quarterback position, and I understand that and believe that. Can you give that. me a quick thumbnail on, on the four that you're thinking are, are most in the running? Well, I think, uh, you know, we've got uh, four guys. Uh, uh, Huebner's Hube, one of the experience. Huebner uh, has a little bit of experience in our program. Uh, Jesse Ertz, uh, Dalton uh, is one of the new youngster. Uh, Banks uh, just came into our program. You know, each and every one of them has something to bring to the table. All of them, number one, all of them are very good young guys. Number two, they, they work extremely hard. Number three, they're great teammates. Uh, now it's just being able to develop the skill and the overall understanding of the entirety of our of our offense and you know they the one thing that they're committed to is getting better every day and I've seen that I saw it all the way through the spring practice I think that I don't know for sure but I think it's probably happening during the course of the summer uh, so we'll go into and uh, this fall you know with four guys it's hard to you know distribute the reps and you know they will begin to you know, clarify who's number one, who's number two for sure, or at least maybe the top two or top three so we can gradually evolve into having, you know, one quarterback. I hope that's the way it plays out. When you look at the schedule, you've got TCU, Baylor, Oklahoma, all at home. Uh, so perhaps some would call it favorable. What's the potential with that in mind for this year's team? Well, you know, we love playing at home. Uh, I think everybody does. It's, you know, it's I, a difficult place to play. Well, you know, it, I remember when uh, Pete Carroll, you know, we played back-to-back -back years with uh, USC, and uh, Pete was coach uh, at that time, and we uh, fortunately won a game up in the Coliseum. They returned to Manhattan the next year. And after the ball game, which we won, fortunately, uh, Pete went on ESPN, and he said, this is the most... Uh, intimidating crowd that we have ever played in front of in my time at USC. Can you go 3-0 and against those three and teams with I, TC, Baylor, and Oklahoma this year? Well, I'm putting you on the spot. Well, I, who knows? You know, we're, <laughs> again, you know, we're, we're working on today. You know, we're trying to get better today. I can't uh, predict. Uh, I'm not good at predictions. Most people aren't uh, being able to define, you know, who you're going to beat and who you're not going to beat. You know, all we know is, you know, if we do all the things that we're supposed to do, and if we carry a value system into every single day of preparation, then we have a chance to achieve anything that we desire to achieve.